So, before we begin, I'd like to tell you all a little story about a very famous animal. Now, this animal was a zoo animal. He was born and raised in captivity, and thus the only people that he'd ever known was his trainer, and the people that would look over his enclosure when he was doing his daily activities. Now, one fateful day in May, a little boy decided to climb over the wall of this animal's enclosure and fall into his habitat. The animal, not really knowing what to do, picked up the little boy and started dragging him around. Perhaps he was trying to play with the boy, perhaps he was trying to protect him, no one really knows. But either way, it looked like the little boy was being put in danger, and so a zoo official made the call to kill the animal. The animal I'm referring to is, of course, Harambe. Now, after Harambe's death, there was a great deal of backlash. The mother of the little boy was side bully. The zoo official who shot him was called Hasty. There was a whole movement against the captivity of gorillas in zoos. And, of course, Peter flipped out over everything. But, as you all know, the dark side of the internet got wind of this. And upon hearing the outrage surrounding this animal's death, its eyes widened, its hands came together. There we go. And it was sent into the earth. This is going to be good. And so, Harambe became one of the most viral memes of 2016, and possibly ever. Now, to me, the events following Harambe's death mirror a greater societal movement that I'm going to call the denial of sincerity. And what this movement is, is basically as it says on the tin, it's a denial of sincerity. People of our generation, or as they call it, Generation Z, are less likely to take things seriously, and more likely to defer to something like humor. For examples of this, you don't really have to look very far. Take Mountain Dew, who created a new flavor of their popular soft drink and wanted to find a name for it. So they pulled the internet. And the, in and the name that the internet came up with was Hitler did nothing wrong. <laughs> now the British government also tried this with this phone, which is a research vessel that they made. And they wanted to find a name for it. Again, they pulled the internet, and again, the internet came up with voting in both face. <laughs> Now, this was ignored immediately because, frankly, it's stupid. But, and the British government named it the Sir David Attenborough. But, as you can see here, the internet couldn't take no for an answer. It made a whole petition to rename the vote, Lord McVote face, in, and I quote, the interest of democracy and humor. And then, you look at something like your school life. Because this applies to school life, too. Take an issue like pollution which you talk about a lot in school because it's an important issue. But the thing is, as soon as you have a deep discussion about it in an environmental science class, you don't talk about it ever again. You never discuss pollution with your friends unless it's in a humorous context. Take this. When you look at this picture and you see trash, you don't see a problem. You don't see, you don't think to yourself, this is trash in a place where there should not be trash. You need to fix this. You think to yourself, this says it's a post box that's not supposed to have rubbish, but it has rubbish in it. It's ironic. And in this way, the internet and school differ greatly in their values. School's goal is to be sincere, to make you sincere, and to thus prepare you for the real world. Everything in school is sort of directed at this because they do want you to succeed. Unfortunately, the real world is apparently super depressing. Take your English class, because your English class wants to expose to you the true nature of humanity. And yes, you do read some happy books in English class like Gifts of the Magi, but for every one book in English class you read that's happy, there are at least five books that make you feel horrible about life. Take Romeo and Juliet, a, a heartwarming tale about star-crossed lovers, whose love is tarnished by society and who both killed themselves needlessly. Or Scarlet Letter which is about how humanity is naturally inclined to sin. Or, and this is where the internet fits in, because the internet doesn't really care. The internet's goal is to make you insincere and to make you have fun. Again, take Harambe. Harambe is an issue 
that the schools would love. Because Harambe had, because the mother of the boy who was put in Harambe's cage, she was actually told that she should go to jail because she let her son disobey her. And that is a weird reaction, and that is a good topic to talk about, because should she? And then also, there is the fact that an animal was killed. Should the animal have been killed? Could they have waited? Could they have sedated him? You could talk about this. You could solve problems. And maybe make it so that someday in the future, another girl would not be killed. But the internet decided that, no, we should make fun of the fact that an animal was killed. And, it's, and the weird part about the Harambe, and the worst part, actually, is that the more sincere tribute to Harambe is, because for those of you not familiar, a Harambe meaning is saying something like, God bless Harambe, and then everybody laughs. The more sincere a tribute to Harambe is, the less sincerely it is taken. And it's a perfect recipe for denying sincerity, because if you try to be sincere, if you try to care about the fact that Harambe was killed, everybody just laughs at you. And you can see this in other memes, like... This thing is my worst enemy. The Bee Movie. <laughs> uh, because the Bee Movie is a bad movie. I, I'm not a great enemy. And yet the internet has fallen in love with this. Because, like, if you go on YouTube and type in Bee Movie, you get like 50 compilations of different cuts of the Bee Movie, like the Bee Movie but without bees. The Bee Movie but every time the bee is said, it gets worse. <laughs> and I don't understand this, and it's not a good thing, because the Bee Movie doesn't have anything useful to offer. It doesn't have something like Zootopia which is a good movie about, with messages about racism and how to like, get along with the rest of your peers. Or, if they want to be humorous, The Idiocracy, which is a movie about, human, about how humanity will evolve to be stupid and kill itself by trying to be gay and raised plants. Both of those movies are much highly rated than the B movie. They are better movies, and yet, on the internet, they are less revered. And again, the B movie, you see the same pattern because the more it appears that someone loves the B movie enough to like change it to fit their whims, the funnier it seems. And so, in that way, you deny yourself by, by denying sincerity that comes with something like Zootopia and opting for something like the B movie. You deny yourself the sincerity that comes with something like Zootopia. You deny yourself the honesty and the discussion that we can have about solving problems. Because we do need to solve problems, and the world is depressing. There is racism, there is pollution, there is gender inequality. And a lot of that, a lot of pressure has been put on us to fix that. Think about it. From birth, you have been told that your generation is going to be the one that finally stops discrimination, that finally closes the gender wage gap. But how can we solve that problem if we don't pay attention to it? How can we solve that problem if all we talk about is the B movie, or about how funny it is that Harambe got killed. And we need to have those conversations. And that's where you can. Because by being here, you are actively disproving my point. It's bad for the sake of argument, but good for the sake of humanity. Because by coming here, you are saying that you care. You are saying that you would rather spend your night listening to your peers talk about things that they care about instead of watching viral videos or cuts of the being movie. You are saying that you want to make a difference, and that is a very good thing. And so, despite the argument that I've had that you all deny sincerity, I want to tell you to keep doing what you're doing by coming here. I want you to, I want you to keep caring, to keep doing things. There's so many other options that you can have to entertain yourself besides the being movie. You can like go online and watch more TED Talks because hopefully they've made you laugh so far. Or you can go check out the Wingspan, which is our school's local magazine, that has more articles written by people about more things that they care about and that are important. You can go join clubs like Horizon Club or Red Cross or Salvation Army who do things that actually matter in the world and can actually change things. Because that's all I really want us to do. And I'm not really and I'm not saying that memes are bad. I'm just saying that when, if you become so caught up in memes that you can't talk about something like gender inequality without laughing, that's bad. 
So keep doing what you're doing. Thank you.